Hey guys, Evan and Miranda here. Today I wanted to show you a, a, a drill that I came up with that allows me to do this up close with rifle. Um, I came up with this a while back and you can do it easily with handgun because every steel target out there is rated for handgun but the steel targets that I've got down range today are an exact copy of the ones that I have for handgun but these are actually um, 3.8 steel AR500 from Challenge Targets and they're rifle rated. And of course, I increase the survivability of the steel by shooting one of my Tier 1 Citizen 7.5s, uh, which with the, the diminished velocity, even though I'm shooting full M193 mil spec ammo, the diminished velocity allows me to pound that steel without damaging it, and I can actually hit the target that is directly in front of this barrier. Because typically the way I run this drill is, if I'm here, anything from 11.3 and up. If I'm here, I'm shooting at the target that's down that way. And when I'm over there, I'm shooting at the target that's down this way because I want to have oblique angles. But with these, I can shoot straight on. The figure eight drill is really easy. Basically, I will fire two rounds from the, from the stair step and then I will immediately break contact. I will go around the front of the barrier, not because it's tactically sound or tactically unsound or blah, 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 but because I'm trying to create as much motion and as many rolls as possible. Because the idea is I want to not trip up the student. I want to lock their brain up. I want to create as much input as possible to get them to the point where they're doing a lot of footwork and a lot of handwork and they're doing it in an automatic fashion so that if they get into a gunfight they don't have to think about it. So anyways, you, you fire your two and then you peel off and you come around the front and you run this way to the next one. You see how fast you get confused? And I'm going to call it quits there because to shoot from those low ones, you have to turn sideways. And when you turn sideways, your hearing pro separates. Your hearing pro separates ever so slightly away from your head. And seven and a half is stupid loud. And uh, the last thing I want is that sound getting in there and dinging me in the ears. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the figure eight um, with rifle. It is, as you can tell, it gets your heart rate up fast because in reality, it's really creating the proper way to run the gunfight, which is hit the bad guy, break contact. Hit the bad guy, break contact. You know, move. This whole, I'm gonna stand still thing, seriously, no one survives gunfights. Let me rephrase that, because there's no such thing as never. Like Sully says, everything is unprecedented until it happens for the first time. So, 
it is rare to survive a gunfight from a standing still position. Um, this drill is possible if you're shooting shorties like the seven and a half. If you're shooting something longer, once again, do this, but take those targets, turn them at oblique angles, and from this position, hit that one at an oblique. From that position, hit that one at an oblique. Um, man, love these targets. I've been working with them now for about a month. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, you can find them at challengetargets.com. Um, and if you're interested in AR-15 builds, everything from 10.3s all the way up to 16s, and if you have something in specific, let me know. I'll be happy to build you. Because, guys, an AR is an AR is an AR for the most part. Uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.